Steve, this is where the local march in Raleigh wrapped up on Saturday. Thousands joining on Halifax Mall in unison with the march in D.C. One local teen felt it was critical to be in the nation's capital for the main event. I just felt like I had to go, you know, to be there as a support and for my voice. Canel Waller is just a sophomore at Roseville High School. It was really motivating. It was because it's just like people that are your age or even younger, you know, we can all somehow relate with certain stuff. And I think like all the speeches were really inspiring. I think it's an experience they will never forget and I will never forget it. It was a great day. 25 kids. 14 chaperones came from Raleigh in the Wallers group, joining the nearly 800,000 strong. Young, old, black, white, from all kinds of nationalities together as one voice simply saying enough is enough. An experience this mother believes will help her daughter and other students turn the events of Parkland into something positive. These kids are serious. They are speaking out and they have a right to. And I think it's great. I think it's really great that and I, it gets them more involved in the whole election process because so many people think our youth don't listen. They don't care about what's going on in this world, but they really do. In 2020, I'll be able to have my voice heard and I'll be able to, you know, include be included in that and vote. I would go back to a march like this. I really would. It was um, it was just different. A local nonprofit called Yes or Youth Exploration Services sponsored that trip for the Wallers and others to Washington, D.C. March for Our Lives organizers, on the other hand, calling now for supporters to register to vote, educate themselves on issues, and then cast ballots in upcoming elections. Live downtown Raleigh tonight, I'm Josh Chapin, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.